Last weekend I went on this longer hike and right about in the middle of it when my time was pressing to make it back before the sunset, this gentleman and his dog were coming down the trail. The dog spotted me and the dog started barking right away. And the dog ran up to me aggressively barking and I got prepared not knowing what to expect from this dog and I'm looking at it trying to see the signs of you know is this just a friendly yappy dog or what is it doing and it came right up to me and I put my hand out with my well my fist out I didn't have an open hand I had it in a fist I put it out and the dog put its head underneath and then had me petting it like all of a sudden I'm petting this dog and the dog calmed down so as the owner came up I stopped petting the dog and the dog went back to aggressively barking at me like to the point that I you know I didn't want to make the wrong move but it was not it was not a friendly bark um, and it was, it was unrelenting and the owner came up and he tried to call his dog away and his dog wasn't moving. And, uh, I said, I don't understand your dog. So for a minute there, it was enjoying me petting it. And then as soon as I stop, it's now become aggressive and he goes, oh, it's a guard dog, not a very good one. And so he continued to try to, he continued walking past me and he called his dog, his dog was not leaving. And this dog was still barking at me and I'm, I'm there just keeping an eye on it. I don't want to uh, get bit, bitten by this thing. And The gentleman keeps walking. I decide, well, if I walk away, maybe the dog will eventually give up and go back to its owner. But no, the dog just followed me. And so we got progressively further away from the owner to where we're about, I don't know, 20 meters away. And the guy's yelling for his dog now and his dog is not coming whatsoever. So I stop in place getting ready, get, being prepared for this aggressive dog. And the only owner finally walks up and he starts calling his dog and now his dog starts circling around me, running away from this guy. And he goes, oh, now he's using you to protect him from, him from me. And I'm like, well, this isn't good. I said, look, I don't have a lot of time. Any chance you could grab your dog? And he's trying and the dog's, he's saying things and the dog's not doing anything. And then finally the dog spots something um, about five yards away from us and goes and sniffs it. And he walks up behind the dog. He grabs the dog for a second. And I said, do you have a hold of it? And he's like, yeah, I just got a hold of it now. I said, keep a hold of it, please. And then I walk away so I can go back to the trail. I've still got another five kilometers to go to get the heck out of there. And he says to me, thanks for the obedience lesson. And I don't know if he was being sarcastic or whether he was joking, you know, joking around or if he was being dicky about it. But the fact of the matter is, is the guy did not have control over his dog and it was coming up to me. And as a matter of fact, at one point when the dog was, was aggressively barking at me, uh, he had said to the dog, watch out, he's got bear spray. To which got me thinking in my head, had I not grown up around dogs as a kid, like a lot of dogs, and known some of the telltale signs of friendliness and aggressiveness, and, and start looking for those things, I would have sprayed it. Any other person 
would have would have sprayed this dog thinking like oh my god this dog's going to attack me and then he would say oh it's just a friendly dog woe is me and that's not the case for one thing it was a park where it was dogs are supposed to be on leashes so it should have been on a leash right off the bat and that's fine you want to walk your dog and you don't want to have it on the be on the um, leash all the time then then don't but have total recall of your dog be able to call your dog back even if you have to get your voice down come here as long as the dog immediately comes back I'm fine with it but if your dog doesn't and you're having a problem with it and I'm able to walk away and your dog's still following me being aggressive you have a problem it needs to be on a leash and you probably do need to go to obedience lessons with your dog you as well so I would say to those people out there that do take their dogs on the trails like I said I'm fine with it make sure you have total recall and if you don't please put it on a leash otherwise one day somebody may spray your dog because they're not going to be as well well versed or or they're not going to be as used to dogs as I am so that's my spiel that's my rant um, this channel's not about rants but I thought I would uh, I thought I would uh, put this one up there for everybody to see okay anyway thanks for coming along the channel and uh, we'll catch you in the next one all right see ya